From the 2009 SHOT Show in Orlando, Florida, this is the Shepherd Report. Sponsored by Insight Tech Gear. Shepherd Report, SHOT Show 2009. The gun that started it all, at least for me, the Red Rider from Daisy, started shooting for a lot of people. Joe Murphy from Daisy. This is pretty much the one that, that started the shooting process for a lot of kids across America. Yeah, I think so, Jim. And if you look at this gun, the neat thing about it is it really hasn't changed a lot since the first one rolled off the line in March 1940. Leather thong, solid wood stock, and forearm. You know, it's, it's the Red Rider. It's the one Ralphie wanted. It's the one you and I wanted. And the, lots of young people have learned to take their first shot with a daisy. And Absolutely. that's why we say it all starts here. And, you know, I remember lots of training. I taught shooting. I started with the daisies. We moved them up to the little 22s eventually. And, and uh, a lot of great memories come back when I look at one of these. But there's a lot more to air rifles and, and uh, shooting now. It's a, it's, a, it's a sport, a real sport, a target sport, a precision sport. And, and Daisy is a player in that. You've been committed to uh, American shooting sports. And tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. Well, Daisy kind of wrote the book on shooting education back in the mid-50s. They, they'd always taught young people to shoot simply because we know our guns are, are people's first guns. Right. But in about 1955, they wrote a, a curriculum a 10-lesson curriculum telling a coach how to build a team, how to teach shooting safety, how to teach marksmanship skills. And that curriculum today is still in use by most of the major organizations like O4H, American Legion, JCs, Royal Rangers, you know, groups out there that are teaching young people how to shoot, how to get involved in, in competition, match competition. Half a century later, Daisy's still involved, as you can see here. Yeah, Lots of championship shooting. There, there is. And, you know, one thing that's really cool about the shooting sports is you don't have to be the biggest kid, the strongest kid, the fastest kid. You're not going to blow out a knee in football, but you might get a college scholarship shooting an air gun. You might end up on the team that represents our country in the Olympics. You know, so th there is a great future for young people who want to get involved in the shooting sports. And it's... Excellent discipline. I can't talk about how much well, it helped true. me to learn to calm myself as a kid, breath and trigger control and discipline, and above anything else, safety. Right. You, you think about, as a parent, you think about things like self-control and patience and discipline, responsibility. How do I instill those values in my children? How do I teach them things? And, you know, of course, you do it by demonstrating in your own life. But one of the things you can do is get them involved in the shooting sports because patience is something that comes when you're trying to control your breathing and uh, create the proper sight picture, responsibility, uh, you know, self-control. All those things come with learning to be a good shooter. And Daisy has been involved in it from the beginning. We have, and we, we have an international BB gun championship match. We call it the IBBGCM. And the IBBGCM has been uh, in existence since 1965. It's been in Bowling Green, Kentucky at Western Kentucky University Mercy. for a number of years. And every year, about 40 to 50 teams of young people show up with their coaches and compete. Now, the, the road to the IBBGCM means that you have built this team, you've followed the curriculum, you've taught them the safety, which they'll be tested, a written test on the safety, and you have won or placed second or third place in a state competition match. That will get you to the IBBGCM. This year, our president pledged that anybody who qualifies by winning a state match like that and getting to the IBBGCM and shows up will be handed a $1,000 check. Wow. That's, that's kind of our, our belief in young people and in the shooting sports. And I guess you'd kind of say we're willing to put our money where our mouth is. You know, we want to get more teams out there. That, that's the key to all of it. You, the more teams you have, the more kids you have involved, the better the sport is. And we were talking just sort of parenthetical with you earlier. You're the front line of shooting. You're the front line of Definitely. teaching people that we're not evil, we're not ignorant, we're not mean, we're not mean-spirited. And we learn to be safe, we learn to be responsible, and we have fun. Yeah, shooting is fun. And you can move from the five-meter shooting sports, which is BB, into pellet rifle, sporter pellet rifle, on into precision pellet rifle. And, and that's where you're getting into the college level and you're getting into the Olympic shooting level and the, and the Gold Cup games and things like that. All right, so. and you're doing a lot to try to spread it as well. You have a new device. We'll show you a picture of it here in a minute. But uh, you have a new portable range, I guess, for lack of a better description. For yeah. It. 
We do. Uh, of course, our, our goal is to get the daisy shooting experience out there to as many young people as we can in a supervised adult situation. And to do that, you know, we do have a mobile shooting range, which is a large steel trailer pulled by a pickup truck. But to extend that to be able to touch even more lives, we've created kind of an inflatable range, which you can shoot low-velocity BB guns in. And it'll be great to, to have our retail stores, our customers, contact us and say, I'd like to have that range here for a special event, an anniversary of my store. And we'll be able to ship it there and set it up and teach young people how to shoot. And the more we get out, the better we are. The more the better. Now, for us, it started here. but. The gun that started everything else doesn't look all that much like that. Uh, Daisy goes back like 123 years. The original name of the company was the Plymouth Iron Windmill Company. They made a steel windmill for farmers. Uh, the company was struggling. One of the guys on the board of directors walked in with a little wire stock uh, air gun. It didn't even have wood in the stock. The stock was made out of wire. It cocked by pulling up on the rear sight. He gave it to the general manager who shot it in his wastebasket and says, Clarence, that gun is a daisy, which was a saying back there, uh, like, well, that's cool, or that's, yeah. that's really awesome, you know, but back then it, it was a daisy. So they named the gun the daisy, and our air gun museum, the Daisy Air Gun Museum, which is, you can go on the website, daisymuseum.com, is uh, putting out a replica of that gun this year. So a gun that was made in 1888 is being brought back here in early 2009. Only a thousand of them made for the collector's market. And it's really kind of the gun that started it all. It's the gun that started Daisy, and therefore the gun that we all started with. And you were telling me it's a pretty neat system about how to get one of these guns. There are a few people that are already going to have a chance, but how about the rest of us? Well, the rest of us can do one of two things. We can become a friend of the museum. If you go to daisymuseum.com and you uh, become a friend of the museum, it costs $50 for a lifetime membership. You will always be, every time we have a limited edition collectible come out, you'll always be notified and given a chance to buy the gun with your number on it. If you don't act, we, we take that as a sign that you don't want your gun, and then it becomes available to others. So of those thousands, there's uh, of those thousand guns made, there will be 525 people or more who will be friends of the museum who have a chance to get their gun. They may not take it. If they don't, they'll be on our website, daisymuseum.com, for the general public to buy. A great idea, and you can get one that started it all, literally. Uh, Joe, yesterday, we were our earlier this year, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. It like a week ago, but <laughs> yesterday we were out here and I saw a very nice looking drill team carrying something that looked a whole lot like a 1903 Springfield. Daisies. We are so proud. Uh, Daisy has been contracted with the federal government to make drill rifles for the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, and the Marines. These JROTC units that you saw drilling mm -hmm. with these rifles are an outstanding bunch of young people. Now, some of them, by the way, also have 10-meter competition teams, and they're using Daisy 10-meter rifles. But we began, I believe it was in 2001, our first contract with the Navy. Uh, they've been using the 1903 Springfields, and as they got damaged in drill practice, they'd cannibalize another gun to get a part off of it. Well, they ran out of parts. These guns are, are going away. And so the contract went out to have somebody produce a replica of that 1903 Springfield, exact size, same size and weight, and virtually un indestructible, has a solid barrel, and the only functioning part on it is the bolt. So we're, we're proud to be retained to do that, and uh, maybe it's kind of odd that an air gun company is making drill rifles, but we know how to build and assemble guns. Joe Murphy and Daisy, thank you for everything, and thank you for what Daisy does for shooting. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for having us here. Sure. Shepard Report rolls on from SHOT Show 09. Stay with us. Protecting the U.S. military for 20 years. Now, ready to defend your loved ones. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Tactical Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear. The unbreakable LED puts out 150 scorching lumens of blinding power or thug debilitating strobe light. The machined aircraft-grade aluminum easily locks to your tactical rail and will stand up to maximum weapon shock. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear.